National Educator. Hello student, my name is Christine Babu, presenting to you History and Government Program, Form 2. Our today's lesson, or our today's topic is based on trade. Our case study is Transatlantic Trade. But you start here, the transatlantic trade. On the transatlantic trade, this is the trade that involved three continents. One continent is Africa. We have Europe. And another one is America. The trade was also called triangular trade. Triangular trade. The trade was also called triangular trade. Why was it called triangular trade? It involved three continents that formed a triangle. And in my learning material, we can see this is the triangle. There is Africa. Let me start with Europe. Merchants or traders from Europe used to come all the way to Africa to acquire some goods from Africa. They cross over transatlantic with their goods like slaves. And here in America, they used to have plantations, the Europeans used to have plantations here in America. And the products from this America were taken back to Europe where they acted as law materials. We shall come to look at those items of trade. And then these products were used as law materials in Europe uh, for their industries. And whatever was manufactured or some of their manufactured goods after they sold them in Europe, they also brought them back to Africa. Or they used to sell them to Africa. So if you look at the movement, all the movement, it forms a kind of a triangle of the three continents. So that's why it was called a triangular trade. Let's move further. We said transatlantic trade was referred so, or why was this trade referred to as a transatlantic trade? It is a trade or it was a trade that involved closing the Atlantic Ocean. Let's go back to our, to, to our, to our uh, diagrams here. I, want to, I don't know if you'll be able to look at this one. This is Atlantic Ocean. Can you see the Atlantic Ocean here? From Africa, they closed Atlantic Ocean to America or North America. And then they closed the same ocean when moving towards the Europe. And then from Europe, they come back through the same ocean to Africa. That's why we are calling it trans-Atlantic trade because it closed Atlantic Ocean. And another important point for us maybe to understand there were several European powers that were involved in this form of trade. We can look at samples. I don't know, you'll be able to see this one. The first one, we have the British or Britain as a country. We have Spain, we have Portugal, we have also France. But we have written the names of the people because they are the ones that were involved in this trade. 